Rebecca, welcome to TFNN. Hi, Tom. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Well, first off, you must be challenged in this day and age in ethical leadership. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it is. It has always been a really important topic. And now, especially being in the Mooma College of Business, we're really turning our lens on the business community. And so many things are changing about business these days. There's a lot of amazing conversations happening. That is so cool. So tell us a little bit about how it works and how these young men and women uh, are getting taught right here, yeah. right now. Yeah, right here, right here in the Tampa Bay area. So we are present on all three campuses. We work with students in Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Sarasota. And our main focus is reaching any type of student at USF who's already kind of interested in leadership and what it means to be a leader in the 21st century. Our specific focus being an ethical leadership center is really helping with the, the soft skills and some of the tactics of how to make ethical decisions and what that really means. So we have a number of different programs and the one that I'm most excited about is our Business for Good internship. Okay. Um, and I'd love to talk a little bit more about that one. Absolutely. Great. Yeah. So our Business for Good internship is brand new. We just started it this year and it was a tremendous success. We had 26 students from across all three campuses and a completely interdisciplinary group of students who have been partnered with local businesses to help businesses through the B Impact Assessment. And the B Impact Assessment focuses on helping businesses measure their social and environmental impact, which is one of those main categories that comes up time and time again when you talk about ethical business. Okay. Well, I can tell you flat out, we, in fact, two of the producers here have been, they started as interns at USF and they're, they're dynamite. So it's, it's you, yeah. you, get, you have a good program, I mean, in Thank a big you. way. What do you do about fake news, man? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a great question. We had an event recently on trust and vaccines, and we had um, some folks from the Pointer Institute over, and, and they work with PolitiFact. And it's a really complicated issue. And with students, we're, you know, there's a lot of great programs out there focusing on helping them suss out what is real and what is not real. And honestly, it, it takes a lot of time, it takes practice, and it takes keeping up these conversations with young people. Sure, and I bet you get a lot of pushback too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think that's naturally a part of what we do. And ethics means lots of different things to lots of different people, and especially globally. Cultural context is a big part of what ethics means. So we're navigating a lot of different Parts that's, of that's pretty of cool. Conversation. So yeah. So you must do mental calisthenics and and folks you work with in, in a big way, right? Because you just brought up yeah. an aspect that's really cool about ethically, all of us, you know, are different around the world. When you know, I, I, I pictured like the United States were a bunch of mongrels, which I love, by the way. Okay, um, that's why I think we're so great. But that being said, we do have all different, we, we, well, most of the time you only know what's in your four square blocks. You know what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. Like, how do you know what someone else is thinking? And, you know, are you going to listen, number one, right? Yeah. No, it's a big question. And it's something that we're training our students on, that listening and having meaningful conversations is the start to understanding the worldview of others and there's definitely some core tenants in different industries and different businesses about what ethical behavior is and um, so we share those perspectives and share that way of being with the students and help them learn how to make decisions that can impact themselves and impact the people around them and i guess there's there's a, there's an intuitive way also right that if you know that something does, doesn't feel right you know, uh, talk to me about that a little, because because what ends up happening, I think all of us, there's certain things that you can do or not do. And even if, you, let, let's pitch this, I'll be the deviant one. I did something, but I know that, hey, man, I really shouldn't have done that. You know, and it, and it might be right on that line. Like, OK, so do you teach them anything intuitively that, like, OK, if, you, if, if that's like that, well, you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, we don't try to give really specific examples like what you're saying necessarily and like um coach yeah, behavior I, I right it. yeah it's really tough but what we do really focus on especially at our center is a combination of theory and practice okay so we're embedded at the university of south florida we believe in research we believe in the tremendous amount of knowledge that universities and researchers produce about 
what is leadership and what is ethical nice. action in okay. the world, right? So we pair that with then we push our students in the world to go try things and test things. Nice. And then we have them come back and say, how did it go? Did that work? Did nice. it not work? What are your feelings? What are your reactions? So we really rely on both theory and experience to help kind of get them get them ready for the world. Pretty cool. Now, let's shift gears, because I know you have another program, Florida for Good, right? That you're helping small businesses, and it seems like, you know, you have all these young men and women coming out of there. They ethically get trained. Then Florida for Good. Talk to me about Florida for Good. Yeah, so Florida for Good is actually a partner of ours. They are a statewide organization that is an affiliate of B Labs. Um, I'm going to throw a lot of different names That's at okay. you here. That's okay. That's good. Yeah, but um, B Labs is the main organizer of the B Core certification, which is a third party certification for businesses who want to measure their social and environmental impact. So Florida for Good is a tremendous resource all over Florida. We have Tampa Bay for Good as well. And when we wanted to start an internship that partnered businesses and students, we, it was a no-brainer to reach out to them to collaborate and partner to build a program. Well, I'm, I want to go back to school, man. <laughs> There's some really cool things happening. And I know. There is. It's exciting. That, that, that is awesome. That, that is really cool, man. You, and you know what's so great is that, you know, I've been down here for 25 years. Um, Coming from Boston, you know, you always get good ideas there, but I am so excited because you have guys, you have so many great ideas there. And that's a great way because we all know that education is the key to basically getting forward. I mean, it's absolutely. It's, and that's whether you get a job or not. Just being educated is great because just for your own personal being, you know what I mean? Definitely. It's, it's amazing. Definitely. Well, well, listen, this has been great. I really appreciate uh, the great education. And of course, we look forward to having you on again. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You too. Thanks so much. Pretty cool, folks. Ethics. I'll tell you, man. Oh, baby. <laughs> Depending where you are in life, they're important. Really important. I like the idea how they get, you get the leadership, you got the ethics. They got to work it out. The bottom line, you cycle that a few times, you get a strong character, you get strong morals. Guess what? You'll be fine. Stay right there, folks. Dow Industrials down 335, NASDAQ off 123, S&P's off 36, we'll come right back.